right, let's get back at it with part three of summer basketball recruiting tips. I'm Darren Cohn and I'm here to tell you some surefire don'ts that will raise red warning flags to college coaches who are here trying to evaluate you. And these are definitely things that you want to avoid. So let's get started. Some things that you definitely don't want to do this summer. First, you never want to show disrespect to your coaches and or your teammates on or off the floor. You never want to appear to be a poor teammate or to be uncoachable. And trust me, this is something that sticks out like a sore thumb. So definitely don't do this this summer. Secondly, don't go way too out of your way to wear things and act in a manner that draws individual attention to yourself. I completely understand that guys want to have individuality and style, but you don't want to draw attention to yourself that shows that you're not with the program or part of the team. So be very careful of how you present yourself and make sure that it's always with a unified front because coaches are looking for people who want to be a part of their program and a part of their family, not be necessarily individuals all the time. Major, major don't this summer. Don't show bad body language. It's disgusting to look at and it shows that you're disinterested in what you're out trying to achieve and never complain or argue with the referees. Understand, it's summer basketball and yes, there's a lot at stake for you, but these referees for the most part aren't professionals. They're doing it as a hobby and you can't control their decisions. So don't get caught up in your mindset being affected by things you can't control. Definitely don't argue and complain at the referees. The next thing that we want to don't do this summer is don't post, tweet, or Facebook negative things about your coaches, your teammates, or the games. And be very careful about boasting about your personal achievements when your team loses. Now this is a bit of a gray area. Some coaches care, some coaches don't. But in my opinion, I would steer clear because the ultimate goal of the game is to win. And when you're boasting about your personal achievements and your team lost, sometimes that can be construed in a negative light. And trust me, there's plenty enough scouting services and recruiting sites and gurus there that if you do something notable, it's going to get posted and released so you don't necessarily always have to be the one doing such. So like I said, this is a great area, but in my opinion, I would be a little bit careful of that. I truly hope this helps you realize some of the things that you should be careful about and really focus on to don't do this summer during the college basketball exposure events. Remember, you're out here trying to achieve a goal and you want to get the maximum out of these exposure opportunities. Each and every time you step in the gym, there's hundreds of people and sometimes thousands at the major events who are critiquing, analyzing, and observing each and everything you do. So you got to have your A game on and represent yourself with first class each and every time you're in the building. Please spread the word about this video series. I hope it's helping you and your peers and teammates. Remember, you can follow this at Coach Darren K. And remember, always play hard, play smart, and most importantly, play to win.